Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks Xbox 360 Edition. I am Knight in Phoenix. Today I'm taking out the T-92 which is the American Tier 10 Artillery. The map is Erlenberg and it is a standard battle. As always I pull up the main map and figure out where I'm at, where I might want to go. And normally I take a look and see what I'm up against, but honestly, I'm tier 10 artillery, so it doesn't really matter what's on the other team. If I can see it, I'm going to shoot it. So I'm going to drive up into the, uh, what do you want to call it, a village town here. Um, get some buildings to protect uh, my flanks. Find a spot, park it, wait for some targets. So we hear and see that the first enemy has been detected, so we're going to go take a look and see what he is up to. It is a Jag D Tiger Tier 9 tank destroyer. I did not expect him to do this. And there's the in-game message that he has been destroyed. There's his icon, one less Tier 9 tank destroyer shooting at us. So, based on my experience with this map, uh, where I see that our team is currently sitting, I'm going to put my crosshairs and kind of pre-aim for an area that I think perhaps uh, the enemy is going to show up first. T-92 has a horrible aim time, so anything I can do to pre-figure my shots, it's definitely going to be an advantage to me. So a Carnarvon shows up. We did have our sights in the right spot. We zoom in a little bit uh, through the magic of video editing. And uh, yeah, we did one shot him. 1600 damage and the kill. I can only guess, but he probably had a few choice words of disbelief on what just happened. Probably no more surprised than I was at what just happened. So we have the enemy sitting on top of their hill, the normal spots behind the houses, so we can't shoot them. T-92 does have some pretty good splash damage, so if I get an opportunity um, where I can't necessarily directly hit them, but get some splash damage, I'll take that. Or you could stick your nose out around the corner for a look-see, and I can take advantage of that. We got him. Just over 900 damage on the T-30. Looks like it may have been a little bit more than half his health. Now there's a Waffle Mini, which I am probably capable of one-shotting. But I'm still a good 25 seconds away from reloading, so that's not going to happen. And as per usual, being artillery, the area that I am targeted on, all the targets just magically disappear. Okay, it's not magic, but we all know what's going on. So I choose to uh, move my attention to a different area, which of course makes my circle go huge. And what's that, another 30 seconds for that thing to shrink. So there's an enemy Pershing. I could probably get some splash damage on him, but it certainly doesn't look like our tier 9 heavy is going to need any assistance on him. So paying attention to the minimap, I do see uh, one of their artillery show up. We're going to take a shot at him. Let the circle get nice and small. We're going to zoom in here again, take the shot, and we miss him. <laughs> it's a good, oh, what, three, four meters away. We managed to get, what, 43 damage on him? So a 40-second reload. If I'm not already on my target, probably another 20, 30 seconds aiming time. I take a shot like that, and I miss. It's uh, artillery. I love it so much. But I did one shot kill a Canaron earlier in the game so who am I to complain right? So our other artillery takes a shot in the area where he was and he does get the kill on him. So we see one of their other artillery the uh, GWE 100 making a dash for safety. I am loaded but my circle is huge there's no way I'm gonna get a shot on this guy. I could try and lead him he disappeared he's been gone too long to really be able to tell where he may have gone. Yeah he's in that area I got good splash damage, but that's a crapshoot shot. 
And we still have enemy up on their hill behind the buildings, uh, which means I can't take a shot at them, but also means while they're behind the buildings, they can't shoot at us or anybody on our team, really. So we see that mini waffle again. He has relocated. Or I should say we saw him. Life of the artillery player. Up, oh, he's back. I know the area. He's on a slope. You know, it's a tricky shot even for the best artillery players, but I'm going for it. Oh, wait, he's gone again. So I was zoomed in so you didn't see it, but I did get uh, two ribbons for that uh, damage and a critical hit. So we turn our attention back to the uh, top of the hill. Jag Panther 2 is still up there, still behind the building. While we're looking at that, we do notice on the mini-map uh, an artillery. That is their uh, M4043 showing up there. He did disappear, but he was going in a straight line. I know the speed. I'm going to take the shot. Enemy armor is destroyed. I got him. So no, you don't have to see him to kill him. It sure does help, though. So we're running out of targets. Um, I do see uh, IS-7 down to the south of the map here. And I'm still 20 seconds away from reloading. My circle is still uh, shrinking, so I let my team know that I am reloading. Kind of actually a pretty decent circle here, so you wouldn't think the shot would be all that tricky. So you see my teammate's artillery shell come in and miss, and that was mine. We both missed. We both missed by a pretty good amount. So my shot did land right on the edge of my circle, um, technically, in the game. That circle's there for a reason, and that is that your shell can land anywhere inside that circle. Would be nice if they always landed right at the end of my green line, but that's not always the case. Actually, that's very rarely the case. Close enough most of the time, but probably sounds like I'm complaining a bit, and I probably am. But as you can see, I have a T92. Anybody who's been, well, anybody who has even any tier 10 vehicle knows what it takes to get there. So I've obviously chosen to play a lot of artillery to get here. So I've seen a lot. I've seen shells land outside my circle. I've, um, as you saw earlier, one-shot tier 9 heavies. Uh, it's uh, a little unpredictable. So basically just because I choose to show you guys some of my better artillery games, don't take that <laughs> as a, uh, wow, this guy's really super good and the T92 is this awesome beast. Um, it's not the case. And as far as artillery goes, I'm going to say, what, maybe three things? It really depends on, one, the map. Two, your team. If they abandon a flank, artillery almost always dies quick. And lastly, the random number generator in the game, which determines how accurate each shot is going to be. So we take our final shot of the game at the IS-7. We did miss him. It wasn't too far behind him. We did do 327 splash damage. Considering a splash damage, pretty good. So we won that. I've got a few extra uh, um, hits here. A little bit of uh, gameplay right after the game that I just showed you. I thought I would throw these in there uh, just for fun. And this E-100 is being a real pain in my butt. I mean, if you consider me wanting to shoot him and not being able to, a pain in my butt, but uh, the, e or the E-50, they're not so lucky. As you can see, I got 1,332 on him, one shot. You know, the E-100 was just in a position where half my circle was up on the hill, the other half was on the slope behind him, and it was really hard. How can I figure this out? So we kind of do the same thing with the E-75. We hit him in the side, uh, set him on fire, and we get a kill on that one. And this is going to be it. The E-100 is sitting up a little bit higher than he was. Uh, my sixth sense just went off. said, you know what? I'm loaded. I got one shot. I'm about to die. I'm going to take it. I got 851 damage. Hit him in the side. Uh, E-50M did come up behind me very quickly after that and uh, kill me. So this, these are the results of the first game right here. We did get the uh, Make It Rain achievement, which is uh, basically just winning 
one game. It's a one and a half times multiplier on your silver. You can see we got Carnarvon. We did get 1600. That was all his hit points and the M4043. So we one shot killed two vehicles. Although it's not too hard to do that to uh, artillery. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it if you'd click the like button. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do so and I will respond to you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You'll get notifications the next time I post a video. And as always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.